Hello and welcome to Thunderbird Blades. My name is Neil and today we explore the Kaiser Genie, a knife that makes all my front flipping wishes come true. For those not in the know, Kaiser is a premium Chinese knife company, but don't let the word Chinese fool you. These guys are the real deal and compete with the big boys in the US. Yeah, I'm a Kaiser fanboy and this classy titanium knife is a safe queen dream. Look at that. So she's currently on sale over at Blade HQ for $158, which I think is absolutely great value for money. She's rocking a 3.4 inch reverse Tanto blade, satin finish, tall flat grind, sharp as a razor, straight out of the box. Blade centering is spot on. She's primarily a front flipper but also has a pass through for Spidey Flicks. Scales, pocket clip and backspace are all machined out of titanium. Tolerances are super tight. Fit and finish is great. No panel gaps. Super impressed. The platform is right hand carry tip up. So it's a no go for flipsters that carry goofy. Um, the knife comes in at a fighting weight of 3.41 ounces, which for me personally is in the Goldilocks zone. Uh, blade thickness is around 0.14 inches. I just think looking at this, let's just take a moment. The aesthetics are sublime. Uh, the lines, the angles, the contouring are elegant. Uh, it just feels high tech and classy to me at the same time. So also have a look at the blade profile. What's that remind you of? I think it looks like an eagle's head or uh, dare I say a thunderbird. Genius. Genie, us, anybody? <laughs> okay, let's do a, uh, a quick size comparison. Let's see what we've got here. Let's bring in the Kaiser Sheepdog. Let's also bring in arguably one of the best front flippers in the world, the Civivi McKenna. So it's not a small knife, as you can see. I think, uh, you know, it's got a, a long, low profile measuring in just under eight inches from tip to tail. But I don't think it's intimidating. You know, I don't think anybody's going to freak out if you pull that out. Uh, it doesn't look kind of stabby and murderous like some knives. This is awesome. Let's also bring in the granddaddy of EDCs, the Power 2. So yeah, it's uh, it holds its own for sure. Okay, let's get this out of the way. So as it sits in the hand, it sits really well actually. Nice uh, thin kind of profile. No hot spots to, th uh, to speak of. You've got some jimping here, which is really for the actuation of the front flipper would like to see maybe a bit more up here just because my hand wants to naturally ride up on the spine of the blade i do love this uh this dog leg pocket clip though i think a lot of thought and attention has gone into that sometimes pocket clips feel like an afterthought they're just kind of slapped on maybe on a friday afternoon but this one feels integral you know it follows the lines Relatively deep carry. I think they did a great job. Action is uh, silky smooth. No complaints there. And the blade is fairly drop shutty. So, final thoughts. If you can't tell, uh, I'm in love with this knife. I think it's classy, it's precise, has a high fidget factor, elegant ergos, a truly flipping awesome knife. If you don't have one, get one. You will not regret it. Well done, Kaiser. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you like the video and want to see more, please click the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, if you think this sucks, click the dislike button twice. Thank you so much for your time. Stay safe and keep flipping awesome knives.